Precinct 7 Deputy Constable Jennifer Chavis died after a crash on the Beltway near Fondren. Authorities say she was trying to stop this man, Adolfo Serrano, a suspected drunken driver. Serrano is accused of slamming his F-550 truck into the Deputy Constable's patrol unit. KPRC2's Bill Barajas joins us now with the latest on the investigation. Bill, heavy hearts all around. That's exactly right. Departments from across our area are still grieving this evening. Many of them sending out their condolences and sympathies to the family of uh, Deputy Constable Jennifer Chavis as well as her department. They are calling her death a senseless act. We are also learning more about the man accused of causing her death. This is Adolfo Serrano, a 36-year-old behind bars arrested and charged with intoxication manslaughter of a peace officer. Serrano is accused of driving drunk and slamming into the back of Deputy Constable Jennifer Chavis's patrol unit. Chavis, a wife and mother, was assigned to work with the Precinct 7 Toll Road Division. The Army veteran was dispatched to Beltway 8 near the Fondren exit. She was responding to reports of an intoxicated driver who witnesses allege had already left the scene of another crash. Chavis reportedly parked her car on the shoulder to wait for Serrano, who was driving an F-550. Serrano eventually slammed into the back of her patrol unit, causing it to burst into flames. Chavis died on the scene. David Cuevas with the Harris County Deputies Organization spoke to us about the loss. And when you look at who she was and what she's accomplished in just so short of time of life, uh, you know, the sun becomes dimmer every time we lose one of our first responders, and especially when they're great people and they're very selfless and they take the ultimate sacrifice defending and protecting our community. And Chavis leaves behind a husband, a four-year-old, and an 11-year-old nephew that they were raising. As for Serrano, he is expected in probable cause court tomorrow morning. We're live in North Houston, Bill Barajas, KPRC 2 News.